This is a basic video on how to sign a PDF document, a portable data file sent uh, via AOL and opened in Adobe Reader. I found that when you send something uh, via Google Gmail, it opens in a different uh, PDF reader. I started off with the Adobe Reader through AOL, and that is the one that I can uh, explain the best, even though I will do the second video on how to do it using uh, Google and uh, Gmail. Uh, the first thing you want to do is compose a email. Uh, basically, I'm just circuiting things through myself, and it's um, how to sign a PDF uh, Okay, I've already uh, constructed a PDF file. So you go in and you get the file that you want to use. Once you uh, receive your file, uh, all of this stuff is being encoded uh, because it's going over the net. So there are traces, uh, ways to follow through and find that the file was actually sent out to the person. They opened it, signed it, and returned it to you. Okay, so we open our PDF file. If it's the first time uh, you're using it, uh, you have your file name here in the top, VAA1 uh, AOL1 PDF, and that's Adobe Reader. You come to your right hand side on the top, and you have your tools, which give you a change in this um, page layout. The main one you want is Sign, so you click on Sign. And uh, your drop down bar gives you several choices add text, uh, place signature, uh, sign, and send. Okay, if you have a signature on there and you want another different signature, you press your clear signature. Now, when you click on place signature, you get a dialog box. Uh, you can type your signature, um, you have a choice as to uh, what you can do. Uh, you drop your down here if you want to write your signature or draw your signature, depending on the device you're using. So we're going to be Mr. John. And how well you can hold your pad down on a um, laptop. John, right, and then we're going to be Mr. Doe, okay, and I'm going to add me on the end of the name, Mr. John Doe, and we're going to say that's our perfect signature or a facsimile there, we'll accept the signature. And now you notice the signatures floating around on our page. 
once we come to this side where you have tools sign and comment the signature goes away but anytime you come into your page the signature comes back okay so we want to move uh, down to the area where we want to sign at and we'll float our signature there now we we'll drop our signature you notice you have a box around it you can expand the box which in turn expands your signature okay now to release the signature or to place the signature you press the button again and the signature is in place now we need to sign our date but we don't need a signature we need a date so you go here to your drop down list click on add text when you float it to your active page once you've gotten your add text it looks like an eye and you put your pointer where you want the date to be at. You click on it and you notice now you have a flashing cursor. So you type in your date. And slash 2012. And now your date is in place. Okay. And if you click again, you, you've released it. Okay. So now let's say Mr. Uh, John Domi is married and his wife has to sign so you click on place signature remember you want to clear his signature out okay now you press place signature again and uh, let's say uh, his wife Miss Mary Doe is going to uh, type her signature Okay, now there are several styles that you can use. Uh, you click here, that's one, and then that would be the second one, and that would be the third one, and that's the fourth one. So we'll take the one that looks a bit more um, in uh, script, and we'll bring her one name together. So we'll accept that signature, and you notice now. Uh, cancel okay so now uh, we'll move Mary's signature to the um, appropriate uh, place and we'll put her signature here All right uh, which is, and again we can we can uh, stretch it out a bit make it a, a little larger more legible also, uh, we can move it down onto our line a little better. Okay, so we have our signature in place. Once again, we need to put a date. So let's say uh, Mary didn't come. Uh, she signed. Okay, so we need to move the pointer. You notice I put it here, and then the cursor is in the middle. But if you move your cursor right to the beginning and click, it's there. So Mary's going to put a date. Well, now we have our dates and our um, signatures. Okay, now we are ready to um, sign, proceed to send. You get your arrow. Now you can send it via email. All right. Um, and that's the Adobe Signature Service, which that's an additional cost. You can send it via fax. Right, uh, they will receive an email. Recipient receive an email copy via email, and then uh, you can uh, get others to sign that need to sign the document. So we're just going to save this document. Okay, if you notice here, it says um, you see it says that you have a signed copy right as opposed to the copy that was sent out so we want to just put a little distinction on there so when we look for it we'll know so we're going to put tests on there and it's going we're going to put it on our desktop so we can easily find it um now okay 
so it came onto our desktop. So we are done with that. There's one other way you can save it. You can just go to File, Save As, PDF, click on that, and you notice it has that test on there, so we'll just put one and then we'll save it. So they're both on our desktop. Now we want to close out this one, and we can go to uh, and compose a email to send the signed copy out back to the loan company, uh, the uh, car dealership, uh, whomever may be uh, requesting our signature on uh, legal documents. And we have OK, and we can put on there sign that is our signed copy. Okay, and now we want to attach that file. So uh, we will go to our desktop. And there are our two desktop versions. We'll take the one that has, and now we'll send it out. Go to our inbox. Okay, we have our signed PDF. We will open it up. And we have our signatures in place. And that will conclude uh, this basic video on how to sign a PDF.